if you enjoy warm and sunny spring weather. I'm guessing you've not been a fan of this May so far. There's no denying it's been wet. Across the UK as a whole, it's been wetter than average, but some places have been particularly wet. This map shows the rainfall anomaly this May, and you can see across parts of northern England, Wales and the southwest, some places have had two times their total May rainfall, and, and that's only up to the 18th of May. A far cry from April, which this year was the sunniest April on record. And some places seeing well above average sunshine amounts, especially across central and southern Scotland and northwest England. Now, April's weather was because we saw a blocking anticyclone. This is effectively a large area of high pressure that sits stubbornly in one place and helps to divert the jet stream during April. That high was sat close to the UK and the jet stream was split into two, like a boulder in a stream. The flow was diverted away from the UK, taking cloud and rain away from us and leaving us with clear skies. Also leaving us in a relatively cool airflow and that mean, meant that despite the sunshine by day, we had clear skies at night, which led to the frostiest April on record as well. Now, May's weather has also been down to a blocking anticyclone. But if you don't like the rain, you could argue that this blocking high has been in the wrong place because this time it's been over Greenland and that's helped to push the jet stream well to the south compared to normal. And we've been in this dip of the jet stream where low pressure moves in and then mills around for several days. So we've seen wind and rain followed by frequent heavy showers. We've also been to the cool side of that jet stream, so temperatures have been below average. The big question is, how long will it last? Well, this is Friday's area of low pressure, very unsettled conditions across the UK, and you can see it only slowly moves into the North Sea during Saturday. Then another low takes its place on Sunday, further bouts of wind and rain, followed by further heavy showers start of next week. But there is hope on the horizon because to the west of the UK, the jet stream becomes much more amplified and this big ridge in the jet stream develops. And in this area, we start to see pressure build. It takes its time though. By Wednesday, we've still got low pressure near the UK, so still some showers about. But there is hope that this area of high pressure will gradually improve things through next week. So we start the week with further spells of rain or showers, but gradually during the week, an increasing chance of dry spells. It stays cool and we could still have some rain associated with that high pressure. But on the whole, what we can say about next week is it doesn't look as bad as May has been so far. But then again, it couldn't get much worse, could it?